Carl Prebrum said consciousness manifests as energy flux. Kristen and I have been studying this for some time. Uh, we're both in our 50s, and our whole lives have been about being in relationship to consciousness and consciously exercising it. Uh, coming to the science of consciousness, it's been an interesting experience for both of us. How do we uh, plug in here with all the experience that we have? Um, the general equation is where we are at today, not having it in the years before. Uh, we, we have found that this is very, very important, and understanding what the meaning of that is, we couldn't have had without coming to the science of consciousness and participating a couple times. Um, the role of adenosine triphosphate, um, getting into creating the general equation, pops out right away, and uh, that is the energy that Carl speaks about. The flux, the flux is what modeling is all about, either mentally or putting it into system dynamics where we begin to get more articulate and then into the software used for system dynamics. Here's the general equation, uh, and it points out with what's highlighted in yellow um, the important points that I want to make here today with the short time that, that we do have. Uh, the general equation is a mirror of what is actually real all around us, and the quality of our ability to do that is consciously exercising consciousness. There's two sides to it, just like a butterfly laying on its side. It has a wimpy wing and a very, very, very strong wing. Uh, the strong wing is all about excitation, and that incorporates uh, the second and the third and the fourth uh, main feedback loops. The wimpy wing, sorry to say it's wimpy, but that's I'm using words the right way, and you get a lot of practice of that with system dynamics modeling. Um, it, it contains the first loop, which is the who I am loop, or the egoic structure construction that we come up with our, for ourselves. Uh, which really does hold us aback a lot, like Gollum in the uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, so you see the backbone of the butterfly or the bird or the eagle uh, that has that loft in the air. Uh, they know how to use the left and the right hemisphere of their brains very, very well, as simple as they are. Uh, the more complex we get, it, the more uh, involved and more um, confusing and uh, disabling uh, the capacity of having a left hemisphere and a right hemisphere of the brain and how if they do work well like Lewis and Clark on the river heading to St. Louis in the picture pr preceding this uh, it, it's really an amazing adventure and you get better and better at it the more you consciously exercise this capacity um, and so on the backbone, you see there's a joining of the left and the right hemisphere, and there's a separating of the right and left. Uh, they come together on the backbone with the capacity and the stock in system dynamics of uh, a beginner's mind, which is of high value in relationship to health, for sure. And they part where we have the bucket, the great energy strength capacity of adenosine triphosphate that's accumulated naturally and has an original reason to put in, be able to put into action no matter what. And that with that parting is where we have to begin to really get good at balancing how much do we use the left hemisphere of the brain and how much do we use the right in terms of what's taking place and, and in a very articulate and coordinated and high quality way uh, capacitate the changing environment around us to be, again, a pure mirror, where the perfect man does employ his mind as a mirror and grasps nothing and refuses nothing, perceives but does not keep. Um, you see the lower part versus excitation is all about diminishment, and you see there in the brain how the ATP uh, is articulated or the energy is uh, utilized. Uh, when we're in the right hem left hemisphere area, it's very quiet, and when we're in the right hemisphere area, it becomes very amplified. Um, 
let me go to the, this is very involved and we could spend a whole lot of time with it going from one stock via the flow and the regulation on the flow with the valve that's articulated or immobilized or enabled or, or, or slowed down by qualities of flow uh, produced by the ability of flux or like solder when we do a circuit board, that magic that occurs between the solder and the component and the board instantly. It's all together. That's what flux is all about. So consciousness. Without consciousness, we don't have a connection. With consciousness, if you've ever been an electrical engineer, you'd know what I'm talking about. That's amazing what flux can do. I'll go to the next page. Here's going to Tucson. We're going to put mathematical equations again to now, again uh, together in this. Uh, we've practiced many times, and that's what consciousness is all about. Exercise, exercise, exercise. And we're taking that small area in the whole entire general equation of consciousness. While we're looking at the small area, we have a great context in our minds of mentally modeling going on. What we're bringing to life in the simplest form, which is still not simple in itself, and we need to drill down here again, where we're going to put into... Uh, there's three places. There's the brain resolution resonance, where there'll be a mathematical equation to reflect the activity that goes on in terms of it. One of the big activities is the healthy synaptic activity that allows that flow that comes from the ATP biochemical energy. Uh, and that will have an equation, that flux or flow allowance. Uh, the ATP biochemical energy is a stock in, that we invest in. And um, that will have an equation as well as prior to that, the metabolism of the mitochondria. And then in this, you see there are three feedback loops where we get more complex feedback loops. It's kind of looking at the start, like looking at the stars. The closer you look, the more stars you see. To what degree and to what level do we need to go to to actually be able to see enough? Like uh, Meriwether was a great pathfinder on the journey, uh, that 8,000 mile journey going to Saint, uh, across into the Wild West. Uh, he could see what others could not. Um, to what degree do we need to go to explain this to others so that we all go together? And that's what why we're here. And we're here to exercise consciousness with everyone else in this way, with mentally modeling and system dynamics. Um, I'm going to go back to the previous slide really quickly. Uh, I've got three minutes. Uh, in here, you see the dates of the events prior to 2024. Uh, again, under 2024, we're looking at the general equation of consciousness. And in that, we're going to dive into the number two main loop you see in the middle of the diagram here next to the grizzly bear. And to bring that to life into more, in more detail, just like looking into the constellations, it's a great exercise of the consciousness, consciously exercising conscious, consciousness. And there's so many ways to go about it. Um, and I'm going to back up to the previous 20, uh, 22 when we were in Tucson. Uh, Kristen and I talked about fragmentation, and underneath of that, we just talked about that activity as it occurs, but not in, in the form of what this general equation is able to do for if we were to talk about it again, and of course we do, but we talk about it in context now. Uh, and it feeds off of the egoic structure, that stock. And then we'll go on in and dissipate the beginner, beginner's mind that will eat away at that. So we need to have that upper wing enriched enough so it offsets what an allowed egoic structure, which is valuable, does, and takes advantage of that to amplify the coordination between the two amygdalae or the, amygdala, the two amygdala in the setting of the amygdalae as one. Um, and then, again, okay, then that's where we began in 2020, is talking about the amygdalae, which is all rolled into this, uh, taking, removing the left one altogether with the left temporal lobectomy, which I have had, so I've got a lot of insight into this backbone and the evolution of it. And um, that uh, alert that you feel coming and going and how you can coordinate that as a flux in itself. Each one of these boxes, these stocks, 
have a flux. And to have many fluxes going on at once is a lot like juggling from an expert's experience. And that's enough for today. We'll see you soon in Tucson. Cheers.